again and welcome back to another video so I am actually editing the video right now realize that I forgot to film a intro and an outro so this week's video is about Southern Squeeze which is a local Chattanooga juice bar and you'll have to see my blog post that's linked below for some more details about everything but in this video I'm just gonna kind of describe everything that I've tried there so far so let's get into it I am about to try this heartbeat juice from Southern Squeeze and I've already shaken it up so as you can see it's more opaque normally when it's separated it's like opaque down here and then this top part's more clear and translucent I tried to let it settle so I could show you a little better but it's taking a long time to settle so that says something right there that it'll stay shaken together for quite a while but I took some pictures so that's why it's shaken up now <laughs> I was taking pictures of it before and after so I'll insert the before clip here so now you see what it looks like before it's shaken up so this in particular is um, like I already said in a heartbeat which has I don't know if you read it pineapple orange beet and ginger so that is what we're going to try I can really smell the ginger and everything that there's as ginger in it is like super strong so it's really good oh. that is really really good it's very it's very sweet and I guess it's from the orange and the pineapple I forgot it's got two really sweet fruits in it obviously it gets its coloring from the beet mmm that is really good so went there the other day and got that I'm sorry I didn't film anything in the store just because I don't know we'll get there eventually maybe but I don't want to freak anybody out when they see me film you know in small businesses like that I just don't want to I don't want to be weird weirding people out or anything if you want to see more pictures of the place, check out my blog. I'll link it down below. But that's where I have a few more pictures of what the inside looks like, and the decor is very nice. When I went there, I went there, I went there with my friend, and we both ate breakfast. So we both got a drink and a breakfast dish. What my friend got was the superfood oat bowl, which is it's got gluten-free oats in it, so that's nice. It's also loaded with superfoods, like we noticed that there were like uh, pumpkin seeds in there. Um, there's probably chia seeds, flax, I don't know what's all in there, but a bunch of those like different kind of little seeds. And it was topped with fresh fruit and maple syrup, which hers was topped with like bananas and strawberries, I think. We'll have to look at the picture. I guess I'll, I'll go ahead and put the picture up here. She really enjoyed it. Uh, I didn't try it. I don't like oatmeal and it's kind of like I love oats Like I love baking with them and everything, but I just do not like oatmeal I guess because of like the texture and stuff. I just don't like slimy stuff. So I don't know. I just don't really care for the flavor so much of it either, but I'm getting sidetracked <laughs> um, <laughs> My point being she's not a big fan of oatmeal either But she really enjoyed this because it was almost like steel-cut oats. So they were like more chunky and the consistency wasn't your typical oatmeal kind of consistency so um, hopefully that picture kind of helped you visualize that so her drink that she got was called the calm and collected which is under their wellness lattes and it it's kind of like a chai but these are the ingredients so it's almond milk coconut butter ashwagandha lion's mane reishi ginger cinnamon nutmeg cardamom vanilla and honey so it's almost like a i guess like a vegan version of chai and has honey instead of sugar in it and it's got all these other i don't know i guess just it's got a bunch of different kind of mushrooms in it and everything that are, make like kind of like a wellness blend sort of thing so these are all researched ingredients that are known to help with well since it's called common collecting they're known to help with like reduce stress boost the immune system um reduce anxiety uh help with your overall restfulness i guess i could say i don't know i'm not <laughs> explaining this very well but if you want to look it up i'll have all the ingredients there in my blog post so just check out my blog post i'll link it down below 
and then you can just kind of do your own research if you're curious about these ingredients. So that is what she got. Um, here is the picture of it. And she really enjoyed it. She said that it was really the only thing she really tasted was like the cinnamon like nutmeg kind of spices to it and it wasn't like too spicy so. So I got the works waffle which was really good and it's topped with bananas, berries which was just strawberries at the time, uh, the fruit compote of the day which was like it almost looked like a little melted kind of smoothie sort of thing and they just drizzled on top along with the almond butter they drizzled that over it too and then it had like a dollop <laughs> of coconut butter on it and it also had a blueberry maple syrup that they served on the side and that was really good it was very different it was like it had blueberries and then the maple syrup so it was kind of mixed together so i will show you the picture here So I don't know what, how the waffle itself is made, but I do know everything that they offer at this place is gluten-free, all organic, and it's all plant-based. So that's all I know about the waffle. <laughs> it was really good though. So then for my drink, I got the High Vibes is what it's called. I really enjoy matcha, as you might know. And because of that, I have seen they have another drink called matcha matcha but I hadn't even picked up on the high vibes being matcha as well so when I mentioned to her that I like matcha she suggested the high vibes instead she said that's her favorite so I got that honestly couldn't taste the matcha because it is coconut milk matcha and then it's got cacao ginger and honey so it was the ginger oh my goodness the ginger is so strong like first you get hit with the cacao because it's just, I mean, when it comes out, it's not green, it's brown, like it's chocolatey. So first you get hit with this chocolatey flavor and then you get punched in the face with a ginger spice. So, <laughs> but then it's also got like the sweetness of the honey too. So it's like initial taste, I got like chocolate and honey and I was like, oh, this is good. And then all of a sudden the ginger came out and it was like, whoa, I'm awake now. <laughs> so I definitely do recommend it, it is really good. But if you're looking for like more of a matcha latte, kind of more mellow, I guess, that that wouldn't be the one to get. <laughs> I haven't tried the matcha matcha latte yet, but I'm guessing that that's probably the more traditional matcha latte kind of flavor to it. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, I will show you the picture here. And as you can see, they use glass straws. So that was my first time using a glass straw. So it was an interesting experience. They also sell glass straws too there on site if you're interested in buying one. So between that drink and the waffles, I only ate half of the waffles because then by the time I finished the drink, I was full, which is shocking because normally like plant-based foods tend to be not as filling. But I have noticed, I guess they kind of like Depending on what's in them, you get full faster, but then you burn it off faster too. So it's like two hours later, I'm hungry again. But all in all, it's not bad. Not a bad way to live. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could do plant-based across the board. So the first time I went there, which was mm, a few months ago, uh, right before everything went crazy with the pandemic. But anyways, I went in there to try it out and I, it was lunchtime. So I got a salad and a juice. So I got the Lime Shine juice, which is one of their green juices. And it's apple, celery, cucumber, romaine, cilantro, and lime. And it was recommended as one of the employee's favorites. So I was like, sure, why not? I don't like celery. So I was a little bit leery of it being celery in it, but could not taste the celery. And it actually had a really good flavor. And it was interesting because you could taste the cilantro. Cause cilantro is kind of a strong flavor anyways. So you could taste the cilantro, you could taste the lime, and then it was like greens basically. <laughs> so it was a very interesting flavor combination, but it was good. I did enjoy it. And my salad that I got was called the Poke Bowl. Basically their menu says, think of it like an open sushi roll, which is so true. Like I'll share a picture in a minute here, but 
It had uh, seasonal veggies, so it had like carrots and cucumber and stuff like that. And then quinoa, avocado, romaine, kelp noodles, nori, and then it also had a spicy mayo. But they say mayo because everything's plant-based. But uh, spicy mayo and a sweet sesame dressing. So like everything's just made there in house and it was really good. Like I'll show you the picture, but everything was like kind of separated. But when you just ate it all together, it was just like so many flavors between like the veggies, like so many different flavors and textures, like a lot of crunchy stuff. The mayo was really good and the sesame dressing, just kind of everything kind of pulled it all together. Those two contrasted each other really well. So it was like spicy and sweet and then like all this crunchy and the different flavors of the different veggies and all. It was really good. I definitely look forward to getting that again. But I will show you the picture of the lime shine juice. And here's my picture of my poke bowl that I had to get to go. So that's everything that I've tried so far at Southern Squeeze and I really look forward to going back and trying some new things. They have so many things like I barely scratched the surface and as you saw I already tried quite a few things for having only gone there twice now so I am looking forward to going back and trying like especially their smoothie bowls because that just sounds so good. So they've got smoothies and smoothie bowls so definitely looking forward to that and then they've got like some like desserts and snacks and stuff. So I'm very curious to try those too since everything's plant-based. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know in the comments below what you think, if you've ever tried Southern Squeeze before, if you want to, you know, what interests you about it. And yeah, so I will see y'all next week for another video. Mm -hmm.